usually we take care of patients with multiple different diagnoses, including respiratory failure, sepsis, um, and now we take care of COVID patients for the most part. Okay. And having a new virus out there that comes to us and it acts differently and our patients respond differently to therapies has been a real challenge for the nursing staff and the, all of our team. I've been a critical care nurse for over 14 years and you have to think outside of the box, especially in times like these. Like, I lived through the pandemic, quote unquote, of 2009, H1N1. And that pandemic is, even though it's still fresh in my mind and it was very scary, was nothing like this one. I just, in fact, I just extubated somebody here just before I came in here. And um, just, a, just a young guy and, and uh, you know, he was, he was scared, but now he's, he's in, in a good place. He's going to do all right. And um, now it's becoming a, kind of an everyday thing, taking care of him and, and seeing the challenges and the, and the pluses and minuses, but a lot more pluses than minuses. You are learning every day. Um, I'm a new nurse within the last year. Never in my entire life did I think that I was going to go through a pandemic in my first year. We all go home exhausted. Some of us cry in the ride, ride home from work. Um, it's definitely weighs on us a lot. A lot of anxiety. I know a lot of people aren't sleeping well. Um, so every day that we make it through another day through Camp Corona, we put a flower up on the board. I think we're up to 47 now. The nurses have a lot on their plates as it is now, so by me coming in and helping them keep it clean, that's what keeps me going. Um, there are days you are feeling like you got this and there are days you're feeling like the, the rug is getting pulled out from under you. Uh, um, just knowing that people are thinking about you, the different acts of kindness that the public is doing to show us that they care, whether it's making face masks, doing hats, you know, chalk drawings on the street, signs that you might see when you're driving into the parking garage, all those little things really do help to lift our spirits. Many of our patients are very sick and um, it can take long to recover. Um, but also uh, it's good to see that many of our patients recover uh, quickly and, and they are, we, we know that they will be able to uh, go back home with their families. So when I see a patient from day one who is barely holding themselves at the edge of the bed to day five or six when they are getting wheeled out to rehab, it's so amazing that I know that they're going to continue on that path and eventually get back home to be with their families. The most rewarding part so far has been being able to show a, show a patient a video of her daughter. Um, her birthday and patient cried and so did I. <laughs>